Hey guys, this is part two of our independent samples t-test. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to write about the results that we found. Remember, this is our output from our last video where we learned how to calculate um, the independent samples t-test using that data analysis toolkit. Now the funny thing is, um, statistics has a sort of code language and it's time for you guys to start learning that code language. I've given you a um, kind of a head start, a template to work with. If you go to our course and look in um, our drawing conclusions page, so T for two drawing conclusions, you see I've given you some kind of examples of how to phrase these results. And these aren't gonna make a lot of sense to you um, yet, but today in this video, we're gonna go through them um, and I'm gonna show you how to write them. The paired samples t-test uh, we haven't talked about yet, so we're just gonna save that for later. The independent samples t-test is what we calculated in this video. Remember, we have two groups. So we found a significant result. We know that from this box that we highlighted last time, right? If less than 0.05, results are statistically significant. So results are significant. So we're gonna use this phrasing, phrasing a significant result. And I'm gonna copy this entire statement. There's no reason you can't do this. Totally okay to copy paste. And I'm going to paste it here and then kind of put um, a break in here. There we go. So I've got a big block of text here. So what I'm going to do I'm going to go in here and I'm going to read this. An independent samples t-test was calculated to compare the mean scores of the experimental group and control group found a significant difference uh, between the means of the two groups. And then this big fat jumble of gobbledygook that you don't know what it means yet. So I'm going to start back here and I'm going to start changing some of this phrasing. So I'm not comparing experimental and control groups. Males and females Independent samples t-test calculated to compare the mean scores of males and females and a significant difference between the means of the two groups. Okay, so here in this phrasing, um, what does this mean? The first letter T. This stands for t-t-test. Um, so basically it's shorthand for what test did you do to analyze this data. If there's a T here, that means you did a t-test. Okay, now 34. This is our degrees of freedom. So in this case, our degrees of freedom is here. That's 28. So I'm gonna modify this to say 28. Equals, now this is your T stat, your T value. So my T stat from up here is three, 3.00. And then finally, p is less than 0.05. We're stating this p value is less than 0.05, right? 0.05 is definitely less than 0.05, okay? Last sentence, the mean of the experimental group was significantly higher than the mean of the control group, okay? If we look up here at our means, right, the males had a significantly higher mean. The mean of the males, and then in parentheses, put your mean. 7.92 was significantly higher than the mean of the females, and then in parentheses put the mean of the females. So now our statement, an independent samples t-test was calculated to compare the mean scores of males and females found a significant difference between the means of the two groups. T28 degrees of freedom equals 3.0, P is less than 0.05. The mean of the male, 7.92, was significantly higher than the mean of the females, which was 5.31. And that's all you have to write. Two sentences, and you've kind of cracked the code of statistics in terms of how to write it up and how to communicate this results to other researchers.